Hello, Peter Detmer, Madison College, instructor for automated manufacturing. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can change the IP address on a 1756 ENBT Ethernet IP card on a Control Logix platform. First of all, we need to demonstrate and verify that we are online with the controller. You can see we're in remote run, we're online. Here's the current path which goes to the Ethernet IP driver 192.168.1.211 to the backplane. Our program can be accessed here, so we're all good to go. The purpose to change an IP address might be that you want to connect a different uh, PLC to an existing network and uh, they cannot have the same IP address. So if there's another system on your network that also has this IP address, you have to change one of them. The network portion of the address has to remain the same, which is 192.168.1, set by the subnet mask. The dot .211 is the unique identifier for the station. I will change this to a 222 address. So first of all, I'm going to go offline. Then I'm going to right click on the our configuration for the 1756 Ethernet card. Click on properties. Now here, depending on the version of Ars Logics you're running, this is version 17. This screen may look different, but there are two places where the IP address is showing. One is in the general tabs, and when you're online, you will also see it here in the port configuration. While you're offline, we want to change the IP address. So I'm going to change the 211 to 222. Do not change the front part. This designates the network portion of the network. Click Apply. Click OK. Then download this change. This will not yet change the IP address that's displayed on the Ethernet IP card. This will only change the general properties. So we still have a current connection to the path we previously specified. Now that we have the general properties changed, we can right click on the module, go to properties again. So you can see here, this is grayed out now. If I go to port configuration, now you can see that we're online with the module. This is the number that's scrolling across the Ethernet IP card. So this is the place where you need to change it now that will modify the IP address that you connected to. Be aware that when you make this change and apply it, this current combination path is no longer valid. It doesn't automatically update, you will lose the connection. So I'm going to change this. And again, depending on the setting and version of Ars Logix, you may actually get a warning when you go to this screen uh, that the communication settings do not match between the general properties tab and the port configuration. I'm going to press set here. It's going to warn us that uh, um, you know, there might be an address, uh, uh, that we do an address change, which may result in uh, loss of connectivity. I'm going to click OK. going to take a while and it's going to time out on us because it's losing connectivity. So now we receive the message that it can't uh, connect with the project and the controller and this is in the RS Logix 5000 software will be taken offline. We click OK. There was another warning in the background which tells us the same thing. You know, the path that we had specified is no longer valid because we changed the IP address. So we click OK here. Module is now found. So this all comes from not having the correct path identified up here now because we just changed the IP address of the network card. The next step is to change the path within the project to match the new configuration of the controller. To do so, we simply go to the RS who, who active. It's still showing the old connection 
that's no longer there, that remains in memory and uh, the processor will attempt to find it and uh, this hourglass you know, will remain there for a while. Uh, so be patient, don't start clicking and uh, closing windows. It will eventually go away and uh, allow you to browse to the AB Ethernet IP driver to the new processor that we just configured. So at this point you can see that the uh, hourglass is gone. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to clear the project path. You can also see that up here I have another controller on the same network. I also have a PowerFlex 40 VFD and I used to have a connectivity to a uh, PowerFlex and Micrologix processor. So this took about another 30 seconds. Uh, now we see the path is cleared. Now I can close this connection by simply clicking on the minus sign to collapse the window. And again, I get the hourglass. And this is just a function within the processor and the software. It keeps trying to find um, the old connection, the old device that it has set in this driver uh, that it discovered automatically before. So this took about another minute to minute and a half. I'm going to collapse the AB Ethernet IP connection now. You can see it's browsing. When I expand it again, you can see that now it's showing the new IP address that I just configured on the system. The other devices that are no longer accessible because they've been disconnected, uh, they get a red X. So I have this processor, which is a different unit, and then I have the one that I've just been working with and changed the IP address on. In order to connect to it, click the plus sign, click the plus sign on the back plane, click the processor. Now here on the right you see these options are available and I want to go online with this unit. It's also good practice to set the project path now that you have defined uh, the new connection and then go online and this will save and update the project path up here and you can see we are online verify the IP settings you can see it's showing dot two 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 and we are good to go uh, thank you for watching this video and uh, please stop by madisoncollege.edu forward slash eda to find out about more for options to train in PLCs and robotic technologies thank you